Hello everybody, long time no see. Today we're gonna have a special game, very special game called Dragon's Dogma 2. Well, Dragon's Dogma 2 was a unique experience when it launched almost 12 years ago. I mean, the first part, obviously, right? And it is a fantasy adventure that scratched every itch for adventuring its permissively fantasy world. 12 years later, Dragon's Dogma 2 recaptures that magic and expands it in every way for better or worse. Dragon's Dogma 2 takes place in a parallel world from the original game, so that you won't encounter the same land of towns. It takes place in the vastly different lands of Vermont and Batal. Vermont is a lush world full of vegetation, forests and rocky beaches, while Batal is a desert city ruled by a priestess of the Beastern race. Much like the first game, you are the Horizon. You were slain by a dragon who then consumed your heart, resurrecting you and forcing you to take on quests to defeat the dragon who stole your heart and took the throne of Vermut. However, the story in the first game wouldn't turn heads. Dragon Dogma 2 tells a much more comprehensive story of political intrigue, conspiracies, and even looming throughout the war between Vermont and Batal. This time around, the story is presented with many more cutscenes. Utilizing Capcom RE engine, the game cinematics are excellent, especially during the epic action sequences, and they are well animated. Unfortunately, when the game tells its story throughout simple dialogue conversation, it shows some limitations. The character faces as, as stiff as broad with only their mouths moving, giving off creepy vibes. Outside of the big challenges to the game's narrative, much of Mon Dogma 2 is similar to the first title. After creating a new character, you select one of your vocations or classes, warrior, archer, sage or thief. You can change your vocation whenever you want a vocational schools, so you're never stuck or limited to one class. This is especially good news since you got only one manual save file to play. As you progress, you gain access to the vocations, some new, such as trickster and some returning like a magic archer. There are new vocations, just unlock independently. You must partake in a quest, well, actually to unlock them. Pawns are another core aspect of the game. You can recruit them out in the world of the adventures like you, or you can recruit them throughout a rift zone. In another dimension, you can recruit pawns created by the other players, including some creatures by Capcom themselves. The pawn system has many aspects can you explore to see some of the cool things pawns can do. The game has its own pawn leatherboard system, so you can see some of the highest rated pawns in the world. You can also see how well your pawn is going and how it's good recreated by the other players who can like or allow on your pawn or even send it back to the reef with a gift. Besides your character and your created pawn, the old you recruit won't level up, must consistently be replaced. Well, the good news is that you can always favorite a pawn and then search for them, see if they have progressed any further, so you can recruit them later. This time, pawns also have special based on their personality, essentially their tactics. They can be kindergarten, which means they will stick by your side and protect and heal you. Or they can be carefree and act independently, doing whatever they choose. Pawns point out areas of the map where you can harvest materials and other them you sell. Some even point out treasure chests and ask you if they should go and retrieve them which you can command them to do with the top of button. The most useful thing is that they can now lead you to a location that you may know exists. If there is a campsite nearby that you haven't disclosed yet, a pawn will tell you about it and you can direct them to lead you whenever you go and whenever you need to go. Well, obviously the world is massive and exploration is one of Dragon Dogma 2 best features. There are secrets, the dungeons to find woodwork and massive monsters to hunt down but the more rare materials. Throughout you can follow the trails, the path going off beaten path is extremely rewarding. 
you find abandoned ruins and sometimes even raided the destroyed villages, the whole secrets to find. Some may even unlock new quests for you to take to learn the new happen to the locations. Traveling can lead to some frustration throughout the world is massive, and the farther you venture out, the longer it will take to you find refuge. Throughout Dogma Dragon Dogma 2 does feature a fast travel mechanics. It's as expensive uh, one to utilize. To travel to your locations quickly, you must find a port stellar at location. Once you activate it, you need rare fairy stone items to utilize fast travel to portal stone. Fairy stones are extremely rare. And those you can buy cost a brutal amount of currency. Of course, this can be a big problem for many players, as you'll be one filled with the heavy packs and will take a long time to return to on into your store your items. Thankfully, there are plenty of campsites where you can rest campaigning the gear that will follow you to heal your party and cook some food that can temporarily increase your stats. Item management can take more time to deal with uh, that it should. Weight management is even bigger issue. Everything you can carry has weight. Early uh, in the game, your maximum carry weight isn't that high. So chances are you'll be running around as heavy sage or archer. You can increase your max weight capacity with the golden beans you consume, but those are rare to find. You mostly head off many of your items and materials to your pawns as the portable used to upgrade your weapons and armor. They can be taken right out of your storage box. There isn't a crafting system, but you can combine items to create the healing potions, especially arrows, and oil to fuel a lantern. It is also dangerous uh, a word of monsters, thieves, and cultists. Behind the three lines and bridges and boshes await you. Enemies are extremely intelligent and lay traps for unsuspecting travelers. I found the enemy encounters exhilarating and even throughout you may be facing off against a pack of wolves, every encounter can be dangerous. Enemies can sometimes lead you to a dangerous area to battle like a cliffside and then try to knock you off the cliff. The alignment can also be used during two encounters. Cutting the ropes holding up the bridge will collapse the bridge, dropping anyone till they dead. You can even destroy dams, unleashing a tidal wave and drumming anyone its way. It's incredibly fun to utilize and experiment with, but the enemies can will utilize these hazards against you. The biggest monster that has like the Cyclops and Griffiths presents their own incredible experiences. A fantasy adventure for the ages, Dragon Dogma 2 takes everything that made the first game good and expands it every way. The combat is visceral and engaging. I, with a massive work to explore, you can yourself, uh, you lose yourself and for days exploring the battling all your favorite fantasy moon stories. Dragon's Dogma 2 is an incredible adventure no one should miss. Peace. Subscribe.